Yes, a 12 year old boy nearly died after a driver hit him as he played on the sidewalk and that driver just kept on going. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler is live in Tampa with a heroic story of how the boy may have saved another child. Eric. Yeah, really close to his house. This is where Daryl Ortega was playing on Thursday afternoon with some friends when police say he was somewhere on Hannah Avenue right here, maybe crossing the street, a car headed towards those kids. And that's when, according to Daryl's family, Daryl actually pushed one of his friends, a younger boy, out of the way, but he was hit and that car kept on going, leaving the young boy lying there in the street. I am livid that my son was hit. I am livid that my son was left to die. None of them can understand it. They couldn't even get out the car to say if I was all right. How could someone run down a 12-year-old boy and leave the scene? I feel like they're a heartless person. Daryl suffered a broken femur, broken collarbone, and a concussion when a car slammed into him. I guess I'll just out because I didn't feel anything. The only thing that keeps popping into my head is seeing my baby lay on that ground face first in his own blood. I don't know if my baby was alive. The injury to his leg is so bad, there is concern he may have trouble walking for the rest of his life. He wanted to be a football player, a basketball player, and just play sports because he loves sports. And now that may be taken from him. As devastating as this all is, there is also tremendous pride because his parents say Daryl pushed a younger child out of the way before the impact. He's my angel, my angel and my hero. All we could do is pray. And so far, my baby's still here. And, and police say they are still looking for a newer model silver sedan that may have been involved in this crash. Daryl and his family hope to be out of the hospital by Thanksgiving. They do have a GoFundMe page set up to help with all the medical expenses. I have that on my Twitter page, at Eric Waxler. In Tampa, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.